Hi, I'm Lieutenant Carl Baumert with the Hoffman State's Police Department, here to talk to you about our 18th annual Shop with a Cop event that happened on Saturday, December 2nd. This year was a wonderful event. It actually was the most kids we've been able to serve ever in the history of our program. So we had 37 of our very own officers at Hoffman State's Police Department, along with officers from Inverness Police Department, South Barrington, as well as state troopers, join us along with our emergency, emergency management people and Explorer program uh, students. Come out and join us and get paired up with 55 different kids from the community. They started the day off at the police department where they were matched up and were loaded onto buses and taken over to Target. At that point, all the kids and officers go throughout the store and we were able to get them to spend $200 um, shopping for different gifts for themselves as well as their family members. Shopping throughout the store was a real treat for both kids and officers. We make this a uh, big highlight of our day uh, just because these kids are um, found to be in need of a Christmas. These children are referred to us from various social workers at schools in Hoffman Estates. Kids came from Fairview, Lakeview, Muir, uh, the CRC at our police department, as well as Armstrong School and some referrals within the police department as well. We found that these are kids that are in need of having a Christmas this year, and we are more than happy to serve them and see that they have a Christmas for themselves and their family. While they're doing their shopping, we have plenty of volunteers to help us with all the wrapping that takes place. As you can imagine, with $200 worth of gifts, we need to have many helping hands to have them wrap all the presents. We have many different people within our community, including the mayor and uh, trustees from the village that come out and volunteer for this event. Uh, we have great support from the Chamber of Commerce here in Hoffman Estates, as well as the Schomburg Hoffman Rotary Club. So many different volunteers that come out and wrap all the presents, um, which then get loaded into um, vehicles to take them back to our police department so the families can then pick it up at the end of the day. Well, we don't allow the kids to wrap their own presents because they have to wait till Christmas Day to get them. However, we ship the kids over to the Marriott, and which the Marriott is a great partner of our Shop with the Cop program. They've been supporting this event for many years. They donate a wonderful breakfast for our officers and kids, as well as create a space for us to bring in other businesses within the community that set up different activities. The activities uh, are something that is a, a real thrill for these kids, as well as the officers. Um, we had skates from the Chicago Wolves come out. We also had Gus Steve from the Whitney City Bulls come out for the event. Um, and they interact and do a great job um, being with the kids for the morning. Some of the other events that took place that day was supported by businesses such as Firehouse Subs, the Marriott Northwest, the Hoffman States Fire Department, the Stonegate Conference Center, the Schomburg Hoffman Rotary Club, the Hilton Garden Inn, and the Windy City Bulls. Throughout the morning, the kids were participating in the different activities. At, at a later part of the morning, we finally had our visit from Santa. One of our former officers came out and dressed up as Santa and deliver gifts for the kids um, to round out the morning, uh, which is always a great way to end the morning of Shop with a Cop. The kids that come out for Shop with a Cop are between the ages of five and 12 years old for the most part. Many of them are still believers in Santa. Many of them we have to explain to them that these gifts are for them, but then Santa also will come on Christmas Day. We will let them know that the real Santa is there, even though we know it's Santa underneath. A lot of these kids are just mesmerized when Santa comes out with an additional gift for them. We actually have a wish list that all the families have to complete for the kids that gives us ideas on what we can purchase them. So many times we'll absolutely nail the Santa gift and the kid will look up to the officer and go, how did he know? So it is a special moment um, when Santa comes out for these kids as well. 
Once that is completed, we load the kids and officers back on the buses. We bring them back to the police department where their wrap gifts are waiting for them along with a stocking full of goodies because we had not spoiled them quite enough yet. One other note that we need to mention this year is that it's been such a good fundraising year and support by the community for this event. We were able to supply each family with a voucher for a family meal from Boston Market. We really try to do our best to not only support the kids, but the families too that are in need. We absolutely love giving back to the community. That is why we have 37 of our very own officers, more than a third of our police department that volunteer their time for this event, um, come out and support those that are in need in our community. Uh, not only do we have great officers that serve the citizens every single day, we make this such a special occasion that uh, we will continue to do this year in, year out, and that's why we've been so successful after 18 years of doing this program. We appreciate everyone's support, the village's support, my chief's support, um, and, and the community and the business's support of our program, which makes this a wonderful and successful event. If you are interested in supporting Shop with a Cop, please contact me at my email address. Thank you.